Hey guys, it's Huff. I am back again and this is going to be a collab video with the lovely ladies from Ladies Who Collab on Facebook. The link will be down below as well as links to all of the other women who are doing this particular collab and this collab is all about our brows. You will probably see my daughter in the background because she's going on my computer, which is what is behind me. You probably can hear a television in the background because it's the middle of the day. Um, and you might be able to hear a fan because um, unlike, you know, the Northern Hemisphere, it's hot here at the moment. So, let us get on with this particular video. So this is all about brows and what I do with my lovely brows. Um, I came from a generation where plucking brows was kind of a thing, so my eyebrows are naturally quite thin and a little bit sparse, and in one of my eyebrows, this one here, I actually have a bald spot right about there on my eyebrow, where the hair just will not grow back. Um, I've been trying really hard lately not to pluck my eyebrows. Um, I, I love my, these are actually the Anastasia Beverly Hills tweezers, I use these ones to remove stray hairs that are below where I would like them to be. I have some weird spots on my eyebrows, like just on my eyelid right here, I have this little patch that grows quite thick hair, which I really, 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 really hate. Um, I do, this is about as natural as my eyebrow shape gets. This is actually kind of the shape that my eyebrows are. Um, I don't tend to remove hair from up above. Um, but I do wax my eyebrows occasionally, mainly to get the hairs that are on, like, that grow on my eyelid, to get rid of those. Um, I don't tend to do much more than that. Um, I have been trying very hard not to pluck hairs, but if they're, like, way down here, I will, like, pluck them out. Um, but I've been plucking my eyebrows since I was, like, 16 or 15, and, like, I'm 40 now, so, yeah. Um, as to what I use on my eyebrows... I generally use a spoolie to brush them out before I do anything else. I occasionally will dye them using something like reflect Reflector Seal, usually in uh, light brown, or um, if I only have brown, then I will just put it on for less time. It's one of the things that I did when I was at beauty school, was dye my out eyebrows quite a bit. I actually have white hairs in my eyebrows because I'm getting a bit older. So dyeing them actually helps with that. The thing I do with my eyebrows is I actually trim them. I use this little tool here, which it's basically, it's a pair of scissors. And on the pair of scissors is this, um, on the right side, is like a little comby thing. Um, and so when you put them this way, sort of comb the hair and you can sort of trim off the ones that are, I think I put it back on, back to front. Um, you can trim off the hairs that are a little bit longer, which, um, yeah, it just means that they, they're a little bit shorter. Um, sometimes I will trim up along the top line if they've got any hairs that are doing weird things or anything. So other than occasionally doing a little bit of plucking and waxing sort of uh, probably about every six to eight weeks just to get rid of the eyelid hairs and tame them a bit. I probably trim them every couple of weeks. Um, depends on how fast they grow. If I have hairs that are being um, really thick and horrible, I will trim them a lot sooner. Um, yeah, so that's that's the main thing that I do to shape my actual brows. I don't have a particularly distinct arch in my brow. My eyebrows are like more of a, just a soft curve than, I mean, I sometimes would really like an arch in my brow. It's just not something that happens naturally with my brows. Um, if I fill them in, I might try and force that a little bit just by uh, putting a bit more out where my arch sort of is. This eyebrow has more of an arch than this eyebrow. You know, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. Um, but generally speaking, what I'm doing at the moment, I have been known to pencil my eyebrows in, um, use brow powders, um, like this particular fibre one that you can get that fills them in and makes them thicker. Um, but at the moment, what I'm using is actually this Essence Eyebrow Stylus thing. This is actually quite old. I've had this for ages. But you can see I like it because um, I've used a lot of it. <laughs> 
So I use that and a quite stiff angled brush is what I use to fill in my eyebrows and where my bold spot is just in here I actually use the dark side and just the point of the thing just kind of like tap it in there and then I just dab in where the bold spot is and that actually fills it in a lot better like so visually from far off it looks right it doesn't look weird because um, the light one doesn't actually work properly. This actually comes with like those eyebrow stencil things like the Anastasia kit that I got um, but I don't I don't tend to use them because they don't really fit my eyebrow shape. Um, my eyebrows are naturally quite thin and they are quite curved and most of these have got a very distinctive like arch pattern on them which my eyebrows do not have. Um, and then after I have spoolied and powdered and drawn in my eyebrows, I use a brow gel. At the moment I'm using NYX's Control Freak. I was using Anastasia's brow gel, which is really expensive, which is why I'm now using the NYX one, because it's not as expensive in Australia as the Anastasia is. So that is basically everything that I do with my brows. It's not really a lot. I like my brows sometimes. Sometimes I hate them. Um, but they are what they are. And kind of bushy, unruly brows actually run in my family. So the fact that mine are quite under control at the moment is a great thing. So that is my brows video. I will leave all of the other ladies from Ladies Who Collab and the link to the Facebook group if you wanted to join that down in the description bar and leave me a thumbs up if you like collab makeup -y type videos uh, subscribe if you want to see more of my stuff there's a button down there and make sure you click the little bell thing to get notifications so you don't miss any of my videos because YouTube is being weird at the moment and leave me a comment down below I try to respond to all comments and I'll see you in my next video see ya